everybody, welcome back. It's Rachel Basturash Bogan. I'm an entrepreneur, a video editor, and an author here in Denver, Colorado. Usually I make daily video vlogs telling you all about my life, showing you how I hustle every single day, but today is a little bit different. If you saw my video from day 100, you know that I've been taking a little bit of time off, but I promised you a video on Wednesday. Well, here it is. However, unlike my normal videos that I do, this is something really special. So what makes today's video special? Well, if you remember on day 94 where I said that I didn't know how to rest, I was talking about how I needed to get back into my storytelling roots and just taking the time to rediscover what does that actually mean for me and how can I go about doing it. So, since Monday last week, I have been working on a short video project. And, and are my glasses like fogging up so much that you can't even see me? That I, I literally am having a hard time seeing you right now. So anyway, since Monday last week, I have been working on a video project and today I am sharing it with you. You guys are going to be the first ones to see this. I would love for you guys to let me know what you think. I'm really excited about this. It's been a lot of fun to work on. It's been a lot of fun to put together and research and produce. So this is for you guys. I hope you guys like it. If you do, leave me a comment below. Um, and if you have suggestions, go ahead and leave those below too. So here we go. Roll camera. We use this device every single day. Matter of fact, we kind of take it for granted. It's not your phone, your computer, or even the internet. I'm talking about the thing you type with. Yeah, your keyboard. In the US and most English speaking countries, we use a QWERTY keyboard. In case you haven't figured it out, QWERTY is the first six letters at the top left of the alphabet layout. Right? Mind blown. If you've ever spent five minutes hunting for the X key, you probably wondered who mixed up the alphabet. The guy who did was a printer and inventor, Christopher Latham Scholes. Yep, you can blame him. People have been blaming him for almost 150 years. That's more than a century of frustration. Thanks, Scholes. Not cool. Hold on, if the QWERTY keyboard was invented a century ago, why do we still use it? In the early 1870s, Scholes was inventing one of the first typewriters. Yeah, the typewriter. At the time, writers, journalists, and secretaries took notes in shorthand a simplified writing system, and then rewrote everything into longhand. A typewriter could save the effort, and the muscle cramps, of all that writing, if it was fast enough. But Scholes had a problem. His machines were slow, clumsy, and the gears and type got jammed. So much for saving time. So Scholes decided to mix up the location of the keys. If they weren't in alphabetical order, then the type couldn't jam. His solution? The QWERTY keyboard. It worked, and by 1873, Scholl sold the patent to his typewriter to a manufacturer for mass production. The typewriter hit the mainstream at the end of the 19th century. For a hundred years, we typed with QWERTY. In the 1980s, QWERTY stuck around as desktop computers replaced the typewriter. And at the beginning of the 21st century, smartphones and tablets inherited QWERTY keyboards too. Scholl's typewriter is gone, but QWERTY remains. We use it to program code, write status updates, and send our mom's text messages. I'm sure Scholes didn't mean to leave behind QWERTY, but he did, and it changed the world. Not bad for a keyboard that's almost 150 years old. <laughs> 